Hello, hello, my beloved waking gods and goddesses of the heart-based new humanity. Welcome to our maiden voyage on our new YouTube platform, our Love, Truth, and Beauty portal. Before we get started, please like this video and give us a thumbs up. And make sure to hit the subscribe button and also hit the notification bell so that the YouTube will let you know when we upload next. My name is Maria West and I am your hostess of the highest, here to upload, download, inspire, and usher you into your bestest and brightest light, your bestest and brightest selves, perhaps triggering you to question all reality. This is a good thing, babies, to inspire you to get real and stop aligning yourselves with the various echo chambers. You know what I'm talking about? It's 2020, a brand new decade era, and the world's shit show continues on, right? Well, the good news is that that is just one possible reality amidst infinite possibilities. So contemplate this. The world is not the planet. Here's some queries for you. Do you all know how powerful you are? Do you all know that you are love in a body, divine in the flesh, powered by source energy that courses throughout our cells and body? Do you know that you are infinite loving awareness and consciousness having a human experience? Do you know that you are a powerful instrument of creativity, love, and healing? Do you know that each of you has a powerful gift to share with humanity and the planet? Do you know that your heart, your physical heart, has the most powerful vibration of all your physical organs in your body and has the power to change reality? The powers that want to be do not want us to know any of this. Researchers at the Institute of Heart Math in Boulder Creek, California, have established that the heart has its own energy field, which encircles the body. We are all connected through our hearts. Our hearts were made to be an instrument for transformation a furnace into which we can add all the pain of experience so that it can be turned into unconditional love. We are all one. We all come from the same source. God, God is all that is, and we all have the same pains. We all suffer. We've all been betrayed. We've all lost loved ones. We've all fucked up in one form, shape, or another. We all feel fearful, terrified of what's to come. We feel the stress and anxiety of worry of life in this manipulated, controlled reality. I call this our perception-managed reality as perpetuated by the powers that want to be that have program, programmed most humans, as my kitties would say, into the limitation of five sense reality, when in truth and in actuality, there are seven senses. Our sixth sense, that of intuition, imagination, is what I call the key to enslave us all. It is the most coveted of our superpowers by the controllers, thus the manipulations of our natural resources, the tainting of our air, water, earth, fire, and the hijacking and harvesting of our divine creative natures to get us to forget our divine superpowers and to remain stuck, mired, imprisoned in hopelessness and slavery. We feel angry and frustrated and enraged by the ongoing injustices 
helplessness, enslavement, and atrocities and violence toward women, girls, boys, children, men, our elderly, our animals, our environment, our food, our water, by the powers that want to be who never, ever, ever get their hands dirty by getting other people, that is the order takers, followers, otherwise good human beings who are just trying to make a living to put food on the table for their families, these people are the ones that do the actual evils. These are those that have lost their way just to survive, who have lost empathy, who have blackened their hearts for a paycheck, who have chosen the path of evil and hate. Those sycophants, those yes people, order takers, order followers that do the bidding of evil and carry out the violence and human atrocities. And yet, we want to blame those powerful people who make the decisions. We got to check ourselves. All over the world, on top of our beautiful planet, so much contrast. But on the other hand, darkness proves there is light. So, in this maiden voyage, our first video, I'm here to teach you all about heart meditation. So this is a heart meditation and ritual healing. <clears throat> Excuse me. This heart meditation is my version of Tibetan Tonglen meditation. Tong meaning giving, gifting, and len meaning receiving. For myself, this meditation allows us to practice embodying our seventh sense, our innate human, human generosity of A, the divine masculine principle of gifting, giving, and B, the divine feminine principle of receiving. So I've created this meditation to expand our physical heart's capacity for unconditional love. And unconditional love is about loving beyond our conditioning and our programming loving beyond our pain and hurts and wounds and traumas and abuses because we have stepped into our power and out of victimhood. We are moving from victim to victorious. Heart meditation is a simple meditation where we receive painful emotions and feelings into our physical hearts and allow the power of love in our hearts to metabolize or eat or transmute these feelings and emotions and convert them into more love to be exhaled and shared and gifted out into the world at large. And once you learn this, I would be so happy if you would please download it, practice it, and teach it, sharing it with those you care about. So what do you say? Are you ready? So get yourselves comfortable. You can do this sitting down, lying down on the couch, lying down on a yoga mat, whatever you do, however you do it. Make sure you're not driving piloting a plane, riding a motorcycle, uh, sailing a boat, anything that uh, it wants you to focus in on something else because we really, really, really need to tune into our hearts and tune into these feeling places. So I want you to get yourself situated. If you need to stop the video, Please do so. Get yourself situated. And so close your eyes. And let's all receive a deep breath in and let it out. Allowing yourself to fully arrive and land here right now in your seat, on your bed, on your couch, on your floor. Wherever you are standing or lying down or sitting, wherever you are located on the curvature of this great earth as you are. 
allowing your breath to fill your body with life force pranic energy of all colors. Trusting your body to receive the exact colors that it needs to move you into greater clarity. That's it. Nice and easy moving in at your own timing, in your own way. There's no racing around, no competition. On a huge inhale, place your right hand over your heart and your left hand on your belly, right below your belly button. Feel into the sensations of your body, the touch of your hands onto these places. Noticing what that feels like, noticing your breath. On an exhale, feel your body relax and let go, dropping your awareness from your mind into your body, noticing any bodily sensations. Keep breathing, establishing your own rhythm, your own pacing, your own way. On a huge inhale, move your right hand, which is over your heart, and press into the most sensitive part of your heart, trusting that you know where this sensitive part is. Trust in your knowing, even if you feel like you've no idea what you are doing right now. This sensitivity that you are feeling is your closure to love. So just notice it and allow this closure. It's just based on fear and hurt of the past, of what might be in the future. Allow your heart to naturally relax. Let it open and radiate the love that you are. The natural state of our hearts is open. Closure of our hearts is unnatural, which is why many of us experience pain in our hearts, the hurt and the heartache. Notice your heart opening. Feel into your heart opening. Feel the glorious relief to be as you are, an expression of divine love. You are the divine in the flesh. You are part of the heart-based new humanity. Keep breathing, my beloveds. Allow yourselves to revel in the awareness that you are experiencing, magnifying your awareness, lingering in the awareness and the sweetness of being aware. Nothing for you to do except to be that awareness. Whatever is happening for you, allow it to be as it is. No judgment, no evaluation, nothing for you to do except be and witness. Allowing any thoughts to come and go like a breeze, just noticing them. Noticing your breath in and out. 
and its natural rhythm. Noticing any sensations in your body. This miraculous and beautiful temple of you as waking god or waking goddess. You as divine in the flesh. Breathe deeply, my lovey doves, resting and abiding in this profound stillness and silence. I now invite you to become aware of any heartache you may be feeling or avoiding. Perhaps something from the past or future is coming up. Perhaps you are remembering something that hurt you or upset you. Or perhaps there's something that's been weighing on you, causing you to fret and feel anxious and unsafe, unsupported. Let these memories and projections into future and any feelings come up. Feel into whatever is arising Notice any impulse to bolt, to run away, to distract yourself. Connecting with any experiences from your past or the future where the pain or the potential of pain in your heart is being projected or hasn't been fully accepted and felt. Remember times when you have been hurt, heartbroken, feeling slighted, rejected, misunderstood, afraid, terrified, violated, upset, frozen, blamed, shamed, made to feel worthless or stupid. Feel into your childhood, those feelings of rejection, abandonment, or betrayal by someone you loved, by someone whom you trusted to have your back, to stand up for you. Don't allow your pain and suffering into your heart. Let your heart eat this pain, eat this suffering. Pressing your right hand onto your chest and on the in-breath, helping yourself access this pain Send and locate the hidden pains in your heart, allowing any painful memories into your beautiful heart for it all to be metabolized, transformed, transmuted into more love, more acceptance. Every time you feel a wave of pain coming toward you, toward your heart, breathe in. 
Breathe in the pain. Breathe in the sadness. Breathe in your grief, your despair. Breathe in that depression. Breathe in your loneliness. Breathe in the pain of feeling unloved or not good enough, feeling unlovable, undesirable, like an outcast. If you feel you need more than one in-breath to take in these doses of pain, focus on the in-breath for a few breaths or as many breaths as you require. And as you breathe out, you have felt the pain. Bring all the pain into your hearts, allowing your hearts to eat all of this pain. Trusting in your divinity that this pain is food for your heart. That you are now feeding your heart this pain to grow more love. That your heart is growing more love. Becoming more love. That you are becoming more love. That you are getting stronger, healthier, more empowered. And as we do all of this, now all that is left with the out-breath, all the out-breaths, is just love. Feel the love flooding out of your heart with every out-breath seeping through your being and sharing it out into the world. With every out-breath, every exhale, let us breathe out love and more love. And again, with all the in-breaths, take in the next dose of heartache, of rage, of injustices, of helplessness, of victimization, and let any tears fall if they haven't been falling already. Tears are also food for the heart. Tears are food for love, like water is for our bodies and for all life, plant and fauna. Tears are food for love, for our aching and longing hearts. Feel the pain in your heart, your chest. And experiment with playing with the physical pressure on your chest with your right hand and with the in-breath to help you mark those pain spots. And every time you breathe out, breathe out that love. Flow out that love freely. And let us fill this planet this world with our collective love. Let us fill and imbue our life's purposes and missions with love. Allowing the power of our hearts to eat the suffering individually and collectively, producing more love and more healing and more awareness Let 
to still and imbue every square inch of this planet with love. Let us allow every big metropolitan, every city, every small town, every village, every sacred space, every body of water, mountain, field, all over this great earth with love. Let us fill our minds and bodies with love. Let us fill our respective homelands with love. Let us bless the world with love that has been generated through our hearts, through the healing of our pain and suffering. Blessing our own bodies, our lives, our experiences, our dreams and desires and our inspirations. As we are opening to the feelings in our bodies, we may find tears flowing from our eyes. These will start to gather in our ears, down our faces, down our necks. Just enjoy the tickling feeling. Remember... Tears are the food for the heart as well. So let yourself cry and heal. We are remembering the truth of who and what we are. We are love. We are love in a body, divine in the flesh. And no one is more worthy or more valuable than any other we come from the same place the same source some of us have just forgotten who we truly are the true awakening is knowing and embodying a true divinity of being source God, God is all that is. Infinite loving awareness and consciousness ever evolving, ever becoming, having a human experience. All for the highest good, the deepest possible truth, the innermost clarity and peace, and most profound if healing. And so it is. And together in our hearts, let us co-create a grid of electric violet light surrounding us in all directions over the curvature of our planet, setting the intention that all energies and entities, tribal and matrix system realities alike, Controlling energies, including inter, intra, and extra dimensional portals and doorways that may have opened, blocking and interfering with our physical, spiritual, erotic natures, that they be instantly dissolved and or returned to their sources. Jai Ma. So let's just linger here for a few moments. Noticing the comings and goings of thoughts and sensations. Giving yourself a big smile to yourself that you have dissolved your resistance to sensation. And have dissolved and softened and melted, melted that rigidity that resides in our bodies, in our minds in our hearts. Notice your breath. Allow yourself to be as you are. And when you are ready, you can open your eyes into normal reality. No rushing here. Thank you all so much. You are a powerful agent of divine love. Don't forget that. You 
are love. You are divine in the flesh. And I thank you so much for your love and participation. So with this meditation and its aftermath, there is aftercare, beloved. So be gentle with yourselves. Okay, so you might have to lay low and rest, perhaps take a nap, drink plenty of clean water. Journaling about your experience can be helpful, along with talking things through with a very close friend. If you have any questions, please feel free to email me. All of the pertinent links to connect with me are below in the description box. Um, once again, please comment, like, and share. And uh, until next time, our next upload. Big love, my darlings. Big love. Mwah!